Hello everyone. In my previous video, I developed a minor minor feature on, on my on my to do management application. Now you can see the due date can be cleaned up in a successful operation. So today I want to talk about the model dialog in Laravel 8. There are two types of model dialogs we can we can use or develop Laravel dialog and the ArpenJS dialog. So let's look into the ArpenJS documentation. If we see the Laravel documentation so this is the ArpenJS section or paragraph. So in this page, we can see that it's mentioned a bit here. So we can use ArpenJS for drop down functionality. So it's somehow the same behavior as a model dialog. When we say model dialog, it's a, it's a very commonly used element on the web page. So when you click some button, the dialog will be pop up and that become visible to the user. So you can type something, input something, do some operation. When you save or click OK or cancel button, so the dialog disappears. So this is a model dialog we usually use. So how can we implement such dialog in Laravel? We can use Laravel component or ArpenJS. I'll show you the difference. This is very actually very important. Important. First of all, let's look into our code. If you can search, actually, so you can see here, there's a bunch of components that's been published by JStream. So the dialog model, dialog model is using the model component. There's also a confirmation model, which is also using model dialog. There's not much difference if you look into implementation, but just some style difference. So different uh, Tailwind CSS class applied to different elements so the slots are almost the same so title content and the footer we can reuse them so firstly let me show you how to reuse if you search uh, dialog model you should see some implementation so for example if i reuse this one i simply copy and uh, paste to to the list module component. This is also a Laravel component. If I copy and paste, mm, so model. I remember I put a property here. No, no. Okay, let me say public show create model and false so I can use this property into the list model okay and uh, here create just say title create to do title and uh, we don't need too much content here. We can reuse Laravel component create to do. Okay, footer close. And uh, we also use set show create model to false when we click close button. Okay, that's it. Oh, one more thing. We also need a, of course, we need a button. XJ button. Uh, also look for an example. So let me put 
simply put a button here and let's say create and what we we'll do is set show create model to true okay mm. let's see okay now let's refresh the page we see the create button and then we click create okay yeah it can show you the the dialog uh, the model dialog if you click a couple times you can notice there's a slight delay in seeing the the effect seeing the dialog or seeing the dialog disappear there's a delay some lag what happens there so if you look into the network panel in the chrome dev tool when you click button you see the request fired when you click close it's also fired right so this is why you see some lag there in your operation So this is the, the problem you need to pay more attention when you are going to use live while model dialog. How can we make the improvement? So in general, we don't want to trigger or fire any HTTP request until you click save button. When you cancel or close the dialog, it should literally just the front end operation. So we can do that by using ArcGIS. So if you see the ArcGIS document here, you can define the data in instance to some element, and then you operate on that data object to show or hide the dialog. So what we can do here is we remove the while click mm. it's here so the dialog if you look into the dialog implementation and uh, we are what we are using dialog model this one so it's reuse model component. You can see the ArcGIS data object on this model is something like this. So the variable that control the visibility of the dialog is show. So we are going to toggle this property of the ArcGIS data object. And the button here is out, out of the, the dialog scope. So we may not be able to control it. So let me just keep it as, as it is here. So we can do something here especially the cancel or the close operation. So this is while click, so it will trigger a HTTP request. Now I'm going to change it to the ArcGIS implementation. So you see here, the click will toggle the open property in the data object so that it will show or hide the drop down list in this document we do the same thing when we click close button we want to toggle what show false okay now let's see we refresh a page Click create, okay. You can see here, the request is fired. It's to toggle the LiveWire component property, show create model. 
But here, when we click close, It's gone. No request fired. We'll click create. It's back. Close. It's gone. So we save one request in this implementation. So the bottom here is out of the dialog model scope. So we may not be able to handle the data object so this click has to trigger a HTTP request I'll see if I can make some improvement here as well to save one more request okay the other thing is when you embed the create to do component here you may not be able to really create a new item let me show you a a any date okay let's click save yes actually it works so i thought it's not working okay it it found it found the correct component so it's create to do so this is how it works now we can remove the extra form from the from the page and where the to do blade is here okay we don't need it to create to do component page anymore now we refresh the page okay there's a create button we'll click create okay we i want to do reading Two books. Do thirty save. Okay, saved. But the dialogue is not gone. This also need to be improved. Create to do. Okay, so this is done in the create to do component. We also want to. destroy or hide the dialogue in a successful operation I can say to do save and uh, in to do list component I remember we listen to to do saved okay we refresh at the same time I want to update the show create model to false so that the dialog can be disappeared refresh again create mm, i want to read three books amazing save okay you see the dialogue's gone okay so i show you the uh, difference between live wall model dialog and uh, ArvinJS implementation. If you just want to toggle, as the document said, says here, sometimes you just need some client side behavior. You don't need the full server round trip so you can save some request. So you can use ArvinJS to implement some client side behavior. Okay. As usual, I will also commit a code and then make a PR, put it in the video description. Feel free to check it out, comment, and uh, raise your question if you have. Thanks for watching. See you next time.